so policy tools to control money supply so as we all know rbi is entrusted with the responsibility of issuing and printing the money so rbi prints all the currency notes which are legal tender of all denomination except 1 rupee note and coins so rbi is entrusted with the responsibility to also manage the amount of money into the market so to manage that money into the market rbi uses certain tools and policies so if there is more money into the market rbi uses a particular policy to absorb the extra money and to control inflation in the same way rbi also controls deflation so credit control in the economy is required for the smooth functioning of economy because we all know if there is inflation or if there is deflation the economy will get more and more worse the economy cannot function so to control credit credit control is important for smooth functioning of economy by using credit control method RBI tries to maintain monetary stability. There are two types of method. Now, why RBI is controlling the credit? It is because to maintain a stability. Stability of what? Stability of amount of money circulating into the market. Because if there is excess money circulating, it can lead to inflation, which raises the price of goods and services. If there is no money or less money circulating, it can lead to deflation or depression. which can uh, force the businesses to shut down because there is no purchasing power in the economy no one is purchasing no one is selling businesses are being shut down there is unemployment which leads to poverty then we can also have the vicious cycle of poverty so to control that credit or to control the money into the market rbi tries to maintain monetary stability and there are two methods of doing that what are the two methods to be more precise the first is quantitative control and the second is qualitative control now quantitative control is used to regulate the total amount of money or the total volume of credit if there is a fluctuation in amount of money we will use qualitative control because it is used to regulate the volume of total credit now for what qualitative is used qualitative is used to regulate the flow of credit okay just in case if there is enough money into the market that money needs to be circulated or that money needs to flow from one place to another without that the economy won't function so it is not only that that we should uh, push back the money into the market or we should absorb the money with maintaining proper amount of money we should also ensure that money is flowing or there is a flow of credit in a proper systematic way so quantitative is used to control the amount of total credit and qualitative is used to regulate the flow of credit hence let us see one by one what are they and what does they mean 